What is going on you guys? This is Jason Tang. Welcome to the first ever sneaker market alert video. This is where I'm going to be picking a shoe and analyzing it and determining whether I think it's going to be a good investment or not. Hopefully I can start putting out a couple of these each week. For these videos, I'm going to keep them pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to first start off with going over the background of the sneaker and then we will move into the numbers going over the market value, the price premiums, the trend that they're heading. And of course, just look at the shoe overall, the design, the colorway. We'll, we'll discuss all that in a sec. For today's sneaker, we have the Air Jordan 1 Biohacks. These are a beautiful looking shoe. If you have not seen them in person, I highly recommend it. Uh, the colors on this shoe is crazy. Now this shoe was actually based on a Nike SB Dunk High back in 2005. Nike collab with Undefeated and they use somewhat similar colors to the sneaker uh, i feel like they changed up a few bits the color blocking is a little bit different and they just fit it to the jordan one and i honestly think they executed the concept really well that shoe back then in 2005 was limited to only 5,000 pairs which is extremely limited and that is one thing that i want to look at is I feel like, especially with the dunk hype going on, as well as the Jordan 1 hype, Nike did an amazing move with these. They basically collabed the best of both worlds, put it into a shoe, and I feel like that background is going to drive this shoe a pretty long way. Now for these biohacks, for men's sizes, they retailed for $170. For grade school, they did come out at $140. If we look at the market value of the biohacks, currently right now the men's are selling for around roughly 270 to 300 ish and then for grade school sizes they're ranging from 260 to 270. if you guys have been reselling for quite a while you guys already know this but if you guys are new normally base sizes do really well actually and what i mean by base sizes is those are the grade school sizes that fit women's as well as kids so for these if we actually look at the price premium Comparing the men's to the kids, the price premium that I calculated for the current rate that these are going for is roughly around 68%. And then for the kids, it's roughly around 89%. So what that translates into, basically the price premium will determine how much you will make per $100 if you look at it that way. So since it's a positive percentage, that means that it is selling over retail. If we use the men's as an example, that basically translates for every $100 that we put into the shoe, we are gonna make $68 per $100. Same thing goes for grade school. Every $100 we put in, we're gonna make $89. So that does give us an idea of what was our better investment, say if we bought these off retail, the grade schools outperformed the men's. Now looking at that, that does sound really good, but that is not the determining factor whether these are a good investment, because the main goal here is we're trying to buy the sneakers now at resale and make money off them. The next thing that we want to look at is the trend of these sneakers, where they're heading. Now I already looked at this for you guys, if we look at the men's as well as the gray school sizes, they basically have stabilized. The gray school is showing a little bit more movement of an uptrend. The men's have kind of been sitting around about the same after a couple weeks past the drop. So these have been slightly going up. They've been kind of dropping and going back up about maybe like five to ten dollars or so. Basically, the, the prices of these have kind of consolidated, which I honestly think would potentially be a really good time to buy in now before we get into my opinion on whether these are a good investment like i said i did want to show you guys the shoe and just kind of break down a little bit of the design yes we've gone over the background we've gone over the numbers uh the next thing is is i, I want to look at this shoe whether it's honestly something that's going to be wearable or not if it's just all hype based on the background uh, that's driving the shoe or if there's actually a good design to this shoe. When these barely came out, these were actually going for quite a bit of money. In pictures at the time, these were just something that was so unique. It was so different. You guys can see we do have different color paneling throughout the entire sneaker. We'll start from the front and move to the back. 
we do have that teal toe box surrounded by that navy blue like kind of suede like material moving up you guys can see we do have that bright neon orange tongue which just pops and i love this nike air tag on this it is super clean i love how they did the stitching and just looking at this shoe it kind of gives me like a vintage vibe coming out of it with all the colors and everything yes we do have hot pink on the shoe on the back of the tongue and on the sock liner for the mid paneling you do have black as well as the silver swoosh and some leather the bag sort of looks like that travis scott brown just like the travis scott highs brown on the heel cup right here and then there's also a black wings logo and my favorite part is that they actually stitched around the lace tabs right here um i can't think of a name for these i guess the wings or something like that they stitched around it and on the back i just barely realized there is another hint of neon yellow right there so if you like to wear them like some off-white joints that will go ahead and show of course and then a little splash of teal on that little back tab right there the midsole is pretty crazy it is like a lime green and then of course we have the black bottom so overall if we look at the design of the sneaker i honestly feel they did a pretty good job executing all these colors on one sneaker uh maybe that's just my opinion you guys let me know what you guys think about these i do believe these are a really good investment right now i definitely think if you held these for maybe six months to a year i definitely think these are gonna blow up in value my estimation for how much these are gonna go for i think they're gonna range from roughly maybe around 350 to 400 i think that's a pretty safe a uh, number for these in terms of what they may look like in the future you just have to be patient pull the trigger right now you guys so that wraps it up for this first episode of sneaker market alerts hopefully it helped you guys out if you guys haven't yet please smash that thumbs up button like i said leave a comment down below as well if you guys think these are a good investment and if you guys want me to take a look at any other shoes in the future for you guys I'd love to do an analysis on whatever you guys have suggestions on. Make sure if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Jason Tang. Keep grinding. Keep making that money. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.